a web designer that works in Squarespace. And today I'm going to be talking about how to create a contact page, a contact form, and how to edit that contact form. Um, if you have any questions um, about working on your own site, you can get a hold of me in the description. Uh, my website is monarchwebdesigns.com and I work with individuals all around the, the United States and I help them build their sites. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to assume that you have already picked a template and here um, you're probably at this page right here. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to jump right into it. We're going to click on pages and a lot of times they come up with an already made uh, contact page, but I want to show you how to create your own. If you click on this little icon here, you have two options. You can click on blank page or page layouts. For absolute beginners, and this video is made for absolute beginners, um, I recommend clicking on page layouts. It's a designer layout and they've already done the hard work for you. The, the layouts already look beautiful and you can just pop them right into your sites. Uh, right here, contact, um, that is what you can choose. And you'll see all of these fantastic options come up. You can manipulate these pages and edit them according to your preference. So uh, don't hesitate to, um, you know, if it's not exactly to your liking, you can always change it. I'm going to click on this one. Over here, you can rename it. I have contact. If I click away, that will allow me to now edit this page. Here's the contact form. Here's the information that you can edit. So I'm going to say edit. And now over here, this is where you can, um, when you hover over it, this little thing will pop up. You can click on this little um, pen tool to edit this contact form. If you wanted to delete this form, you can click on the little garbage can and that will remove it. So say I want to um, add some form fields. All of these little things right here, they're called form fields and you can add them and delete them. Here you can name your form. Okay, again, you can click off of that tab to now scoot down. And here it comes pre-filled with name, email, and message. If you wanted something different in the title, you can just select that and say your name. Same thing with email and message. You can do the same thing. This add form field is what you can click to get all of these different options that you can add to your form. Um, I'm just gonna go through a couple of them and feel free to explore the other ones um, to your liking. A lot of the times um, people will be confused to be like, well, what's text and what's text area? Th what's the difference between these two? It's sim text area allows your um, viewer to simply type in more information. So I'm gonna show that to you. If I click on text, it's gonna bring up this little box right here and you can see this one line of text. Um, I'm gonna say, what what is your favorite color? Okay, now right here, I can say um, uh, something that describes my question. There are, there are so many colors to choose from. How about purple, purple, blue, or yellow? Okay, so you can see here I have the, it's in smaller font and it just describes my top question. You can also put in placeholder text. So like, let's say my favorite color is pink. There, it puts it in here, it's called placeholder text. And it just kind of gives your users an idea of what should be in that field. If I clicked required, that means that this particular question has to be answered for this form to be submitted. All right, so let's add another form. I'm just gonna show you what the text area looks like. Um, here, this is for like a bigger question. How about, tell me about your childhood? Now that will take a long time for somebody or a bigger description, so to speak. So as you can see down here, it's a bigger space for them. When you're done writing your thing and editing these things, click done and then you can create an, a new form field. All right, so it's select, checkbox, and radio. These are all different selection um, options that you have. Uh, select, it's um, 
it's well you select things so I could say select a um, select a flower okay you can describe it you can also create different options so rose tulip and whatever else over here you can see where it will have it so they click on this little arrow right here and bam they can choose which flower they would like I'm gonna click done and uh, let's let's click on another one checkbox um, it's the same thing but they can check multiple items so those are really nice check how about check your um, I don't know check your favorite foods okay so let's put it some different options here pizza um, grilled cheese so you can see down here people can click multiple things and that's why check is such a nice thing I'm gonna click done add a form field again feel free to explore all of these different options if you click address that's nice because here you have you know very quickly they can just fill out their address city zip code and country uh, website here they can put in their website if they have one uh, date form field so that's really handy one you can put in a line to kind of separate content so that's kind of nice when you have uh, you want to just separate contact content in your form so let's say we're talking about a different subject um, uh, uh, I don't know car details whatever it is uh, you can put in time Squarespace makes things so easy I just love it um, you can put in numbers so when they put when they type it in there you know Squarespace the form knows that they're look, you're looking for a number so if they type in text um, that would be a problem for that um, so anyways these are your different options um, let's say I clicked on you can also put in another name uh, you can click on um, you know you can put in a t uh, your Twitter and your extension so all of these are just different options that you can use in your form make sure that you click apply and in order for you to keep all of those forms in your um, the form fields in your form now it's asking add storage to this form that's really important why so up here where it says build storage and advance if you click on storage this is right here is where you're going to put on your um, your email address to send the form so if you want to contact me, you'd say support at monarchwebdesigns.com. I put that and I'd say connect and that would make it so whenever someone fills out this form, it'll go straight to there. Okay. Um, you can click uh, to connect to MailChimp. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, there's Zapier option. There's a Google Drive option. Um, so just so you know, this is where you connect that form to different applications. You can also click on advanced and here um, you know at the bottom where it says send you can now be like oh no I don't want send I want submit okay and now it's gonna be a, a submit button instead um, for button alignment maybe you want it on the center or maybe you want it on the right I want to keep it on the left um, you can also redirect people to a different URL so like let's say I wanted them to go to after this form maybe I wanted them to go back to my home page so whatever my home page URL would be okay whatever that is you can click there um, rather than just a thank you page and then they are clicking away so that's very handy post submit message I this is I think it's important to have something friendly at the end of your they after they fill out a form so I just say thank you your message was your message was submitted um, just something friendly um, these things I usually don't play with at all um, you can display 
words here on on the button in order to open the form I'm not going to get into that this is just a basic tutorial on how to use the contact form but you get the idea of you can click on these different things and kind of just customize it a little bit for your customers all right so I'm going to click apply so now we went over how to edit this form now let's say oh and by the way if you click on this text of course you can select it and you can say support at monarchwebdesigns.com and you can put in your number and, and where you live um, here are different social links that you can also edit and add to your form as well okay I also want to show you how to create a contact form from scratch so let's say let's just say we said save save this little contact form um, let's say you create a contact form and you're like no I really want to start a new one I don't really like it you can just hover over here the garbage uh, can will pop up just click on that do you want to delete the contact form yes okay so let's create a contact form from scratch click on the little icon click blank page contact I'm going to click away now uh, another thing that's pretty important uh, you can click on this thing see my little hand that's popping up take this hold it down and move it over here uh, contact form is usually towards the end so now over here you can see in my navigation here's my contact page um, this thing right here it just came in the um, the template so just ignore that I am just trying to show you guys how to um, quickly get your site up and running. Um, okay, so empty page, click edit. Add page content, this little plus icon, click on that. All right, now you can scroll down and you can click on, there's a contact somewhere, contact right here. And again, they come up with a whole, all these different ideas that you can use. Um, let's do one with, uh, let's see. Um, let's do let's do this one okay now it says contact us has a great paragraph I love the layouts that these designers chose they look so fresh and clean and modern I love it um, but now uh, let's say in addition to this I want to create that little contact form just these little um, lines with these little um, uh, the gray lines pop up you can click on that and all of these options pop up and somewhere in here is your form right down here so it just pops up again it pre-populates with all of these different things and as you know you can edit them to your preference so say I said apply and here's your contact form okay and then make sure you press done and then press save and there you have it all right, uh, stay tuned for more uh, little tiny tutorials for absolute beginners in Squarespace 7.1. My name is Christina. If you need any help, uh, check out the description. I'd be happy to help you on your Squarespace website. Thanks.